The U.S. has handed down a travel ban from South Africa and seven other African countries, all to give scientists more time to understand the latest COVID variant. KPX 5's Devin Feely explains what we know so far. It doesn't take very much for a virus to just spread like the wind. UCSF infectious disease expert Dr. Peter Chen Hong says it's likely the new variant is lurking undetected in small numbers here in the United States, even though the CDC says it has not yet discovered any confirmed cases of Omicron. I'm 100% sure it's around in the United States already. Somehow there's a lot of travel between South Africa and the United States. Scientists worldwide are scrambling to better understand this new strain of the virus and the early evidence they say strongly suggests that it is at the very least more contagious. 10 of the mutations were on the edge of the spike protein, which is called the receptor binding domain, which could be kind of like stickier potentially and make it stick like Velcro so potentially more transmissible. It is not clear yet if this new variant makes people sicker or is deadlier than other strains of the virus. And public health officials are still trying to figure out how effective the vaccines will be in the face of this new emerging threat. The goal is just to tame it, to make it more like other respiratory viruses, but we're always going to have COVID around, hopefully in a, in a much less threatening manner as we get more people immunized. Devin Feely, KPIX 5. The travel restrictions take effect just after midnight on Monday. There are notable exceptions. The restrictions don't apply to U.S. citizens, permanent residents, or their spouses, but all will have to be tested before traveling. Vice President Kamala Harris was asked about what's next. Any additional travel restrictions? Um, we'll take it one step at a time, but as of now, we've done what we believe is necessary. The variant is popping up in more European countries today, including two in the UK, two in Germany, and one in Italy. Governments now are imposing new restrictions to contain the spread, with the UK tightening its mask rules and testing requirements. We're not going to stop people traveling. I want to stress that we're not going to stop people traveling, but we will require anyone who enters the UK to take a PCR test. We will also go further in asking all of you to help contain the spread of this variant by tightening up the rules on face coverings in shops and on public transport. In the Netherlands, passengers on two flights from South Africa were caught in a pandemic nightmare yesterday when more than 500 passengers landed at Amsterdam Air Airport. They were told that they had to be tested for COVID after about 30 hours together on planes, inside crammed buses and in waiting rooms, 61 passengers tested positive. They were put into quarantine. Dutch health officials are still trying to figure out if the variant has made it there. Israel's also cracking down, barring foreigners from entering the country for at least the next two weeks. Even vaccinated Israeli residents arriving back in the country will need to isolate and take multiple virus tests. And in South Africa, the airports are swamped with people trying to get out in time before their home countries close off borders. If I arrive in the UK after 4 p.m., I have to quarantine in a hotel on my cost for 10 days. I don't have the money, I don't have the 2,000 pound to quarantine in the hotel. I know I have to go in quarantine for 14 days. That's how it is, there's nothing we can do.